Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to the Whiskey Cove. And on today's episode, we review Traveller Whiskey by Buffalo Trace. Is this worth the hype? Let's find out, run the video. So as you can see, I'm not in the Whiskey Cove today. So I am actually in Tempe, Arizona. and We are in a place called Tempe Beach. Uh, obviously, Arizona uh, doesn't have any beaches, but they call this Tempe Beach, I guess, because there's just a lot of water coming through here from the Colorado River, I think is where this comes from. A little bit of a lake, but as you can see on my shoulder, absolutely beautiful and stunning. We have some B-roll there for you to, to see there at home, folks. And what better way to review traveler whiskey than whilst I'm on my travels. So as you can see, I have the bottle down here to my right. It is Traveler Whiskey by Buffalo Trace. This is blend number 40. So they go on to say on the back, good whiskey is like a good song. It requires no explanation. One taste should tell you everything you need to know. No one has to tell you how to feel about it. You simply settle and enjoy. Blend number 40 is the careful curated result of countless hours of testing and tasting. It is a completely unique combination of whiskeys from an award-winning distilleries and exact what you'd expect a premium whiskey that speaks for itself. So as you can see, there are two signatures on the back. One signature is of Hardly Weekly, master distiller and co-founder. And then the other is Chris Stapleton, a musician and co-founder, very popular musician in the country music world is actually blown away with a lot of hits i think he sang us uh, at the super bowl last year or the year before that uh, but some interesting facts about this bottle it is made by buffalo trace pr uh, proudly blended and bottled by buffalo trace distillery so i don't know if they distill this juice but they do blend it because you know as it just says pr proudly blended and bottled by buffalo trace distillery I paid $40 for this. Uh, MSRP, I think, is around $35, so that's pretty good value for money. It is 45% ABV or 90 proof, much like regular Buffalo Trace then at that point. Uh, and I will put this away and we'll get into the review. So I have already poured the whiskey into this jar. We don't have any of the Whiskey Cove stuff here today. We just have this jar to go off of. But just nosing the whiskey in the glass, it does enough, a good enough job for me. We are out in public right now, there is a lot of noise, so we might have a few cuts in this review from like, it's like aeroplanes going over, trains going over, people running past, but we'll do the best we can. With that being said, let's take a nose here of the Traveler Whiskey by Buffalo Trace. So you do get some, uh, some quite nice vanilla notes on the beginning. Think like uh, cane sugar and vanilla, like those uh, small vanilla wafer squares that you get. Maybe a touch of like toasted oak there as well. But there's definitely a lot of youthfulness in, on the nose here. I'm thinking like grainy, yeasty notes, like a dusty corn as well. Sun's right in my eyes, which is why I'm even more kind of frowning than usual today. Yeah, all in all, there's not too much going on to the nose. Uh, it, you're really looking for those flavors. And it's very light as well. But that vanilla, that wafer note actually comes through quite well and it's actually not too bad. But just that grainy and youthful nose. Kind of uh, nose is a little bit like white dog if you've ever had the, uh, uh, the privilege or like uh, going to a distillery and nosing white dog or being able to buy like the white dog in bottles. Uh, let's go in for a taste here. So first impressions on the taste. For a 45% 90 proof whiskey, it does drink quite hot. It leaves uh, quite a Kentucky hug here. Uh, I always say about a lot about Buffalo Trace whiskeys that even at the higher proofs that they drink so, so tamed down in terms of that proof note. But this one definitely lights a bit of a fire on your chest. You get a touch of sweetness straight off the bat, but then it kind of just nose dives off. Uh, it's really hard to pick up any real flavors after that, like that, that vanilla sweetness, a little bit of caramel there. And then it transitions into something really unique. This is where this whiskey stands apart because it turns into something that's more reminiscent of a uh, paint stripper, I would say, than uh, actual whiskey. Let's have another taste here. Yeah, I think when I say paint stripper, I feel like this probably only spent about a day in a whiskey barrel. It's really insane of just how bad this whiskey is, how bad the finish is. As soon as that, that corny, sweetness rolls away 
you are just left with a very abrasive, uh, acetone-y, uh, grainy whiskey. It's just so, so youthful. Like I said, maybe, I don't even know, maybe they added color to it because it just tastes like white dog. Go out, buy like a Buffalo Trace white dog or a Dickel white dog, they come in clear whiskey. Uh, and it just tastes like that. There's no age, there's no depth to it. It's crazy because lately in the Whiskey Cove, We've had the privilege of trying such great whiskey from a lot of different distillers lately. We've been putting up such high reviews. Uh, the William Lou Ruel, which is coming out here soon. Very high reviews, keep an eye out for that. Maker's Mark Cellar A, Jack Daniels Barrel Proof Rye, some real hitters. And then just with one whiskey, it levels the playing field. This is that bad. It's crazy that uh, Buffalo Tracer put their mark on this. Uh, the dis uh, the master blender, uh, master distiller, put her name on there as well. When you put your name on something, uh, you must, surely you must have tried it because this is glaringly, obviously bad. This is so bad. And there's a couple of things to think about with this whiskey. Is that it is a collaboration with Chris Stapleton. <laughs> But uh, you do a little bit of research into Chris Sapleson and his drinking habits, and you'll know that uh, uh, he doesn't drink alcohol. <laughs> he, uh, during his 20s, he goes on to say that uh, he, he never went into rehab, but his doctor told him, like, you need to quit drinking. So ever since then, he just kind of stopped drinking. So he doesn't drink whiskey. So he didn't try this whiskey. He just put his name on it, and he's just probably making some money from it. And that's the first red flag. Uh, and then the, obviously the second glaring red flag is the cost because MSRP is around $30 uh, and for a, a collaboration uh, whiskey with like a, a musician and stuff you usually see those whiskeys a little bit higher a little bit more like $50, $60 so the price was uh, I was quite taken quite aback by how cheap this was and the reason for that is because it's, it's not very good at all so cue the train right now we need to stop and then we'll get back to the review up ahead just all in all a very disappointing addition you know Chris Stapleton is the kind of cornerstone right now of country music and I know a lot of people are looking for this whiskey and trying to find it you don't need to trust me do not buy this whiskey it is a waste of $40 so let's just delve straight into the ratings and value for money here value for money a being the best F being the worst this is by far an F this is a complete waste of $41 this is a below a well whiskey so like think like, i think old gentleman is better than this traveler whiskey uh, it's just uh, it's just not worth five dollars of your money let alone ten dollars or forty dollars yes you, it has a little bit of a story so if you're willing to pay more for that story then that's what you're paying for because you're not paying for whiskey so f so and then going to score out of 100 like i said with this one whiskey it's completely leveled the playing field that we've been on because we've had such good whiskey so the first thought about rating this whiskey was in three i was going to give this three out of 100 but it's not terrible on the nose yes you do get some youthful notes but you really do get some nice vanillas and some apples but it's just so bad so i'm going to give this i'm going to give this a six out of 100 look i doubled the score because the nose was a little bit better than i originally I thought so six out of a hundred for Buffalo Trace's new Traveler whiskey, and they've really dropped a clanger on this one. This has set Buffalo Trace's PR back quite a bit because uh, it's made me question maybe some of the decisions of late, uh, like the old edition, like the retro stag, uh, George D. Stag, and some other stuff. The box that they put out of the pints, uh, which they were selling for like a thousand dollars. This made me question that, like, why is that just a money move? Is this just a money move? Like, what are we doing here, Buffalo Trace? Because lately, you're making some questionable decisions, and previously, you've just made really good whiskey. Whiskey. It used to just be about whiskey and good bourbon. Now some of the decisions that you are making uh, are not good and are not, is not sending a good strong PR signal out to the whiskey world. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video and do not buy this whiskey. And I hate to say that because I love Buffalo Trace whiskey in general. This is definitely not one of them. And Buffalo Trace, you need to rethink some of your strategies. So I hope you've enjoyed today's review. Yes, a little bit different and a little bit outside of the Whiskey Cove and a little bit more animated from me. So I do apologize for those people who get motion sickness every time I move around. Uh, but I do think that we just got another new worst whiskey in the Whiskey Cove when we bring this bottle back. That square bottle, uh, Town Branch one, I think that's got a bit of an upgrade lately because this might have just replaced it. Uh, I'm scared to pull this out 
into this river or lake uh, because the EPA might be getting back to me that I've completely poisoned the ecosystem here because it's just that bad. So as we drink through the world's whiskies one glass at a time, cheers. <laughs>